Ferrari had two Leclercs in the red cars during the first free practice session for the 2024 Formula One Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Unfortunately for the older brother, the free practice starts very late. A problem with the power unit of car number 16 stops Charles for almost half of the session. A headache with the energy store, this seems to be the issue faced by car number 16. This means that all the initial impressions of the SF24 and Yas Marina version are linked to Arthur, who had never participated in a session during a Grand Prix before. Fortunately, about half an hour before the end of FP1, the main Monegasque driver of the Marinello team hits the track. He does so with a set of Pirelli tires with yellow bands. The gearbox is set to GX3. Charles Leclerc brings the tires up to temperature using the warm-up mode, then pushes. The lap is nothing more than a taste of the conditions, where the red car performs well, showing a clean attitude. The only flaw is in the last corner, where Charles is forced to control the rear of the SF24. His Ferrari race engineer Brian Bosey gives the references for this tire, as everyone here is using the soft. Meanwhile, Arthur returns to the pits. It's hard to give a judgment on him. In his case, it's about learning first and foremost to drive a Formula One car, in a scenario where, unlike tests, there are other cars as well. The younger Monegasque driver was nonetheless very clean, careful not to make mistakes, following all the procedures given by his race engineer Ricardo Adami. After a single lap to cool the tires, Charles gets back to serious work. In this case, the engine revs increase, switching to engine 4, the standard mapping the Italian team uses over a 300 km distance. For this reason, his performance improves, although in terms of lap time, it's still not great. But at this moment, the prancing horse is trying to verify the baseline setup. Another cooldown and then full throttle again, raising the engine revs further by switching to engine 3. A particular choice as the more aggressive mapping is usually selected directly. The Ferrari driver needed to improve in corners 1, 6, and 7, and indeed he does. The basic balance of the car still seems very good. Now the question is what to do, as time is running out. Leclerc could choose to do another lap with the mediums and then have two full throttle laps with the softs, or switch immediately to the faster tires and have three laps available. Charles opts for the first option, in an attempt to gather more data with the tires that offer more consistent performance. After completing this extra lap, he heads to the pits for a tire change. During the in-lap, he performs a couple of constant speed laps, allowing the team to study the car's aerodynamics. The Ferrari number 16 stops at the spot in front of the garage. The mechanics replace the tires, and he quickly returns to the track with engine 5. With the mediums, the feedback in the slow sections was good. However, the load transfer in the medium speed section at corner 5, when the driver accelerates, didn't seem optimal. Furthermore, compared to the McLaren, the SF24 has to cover more distance at certain points on the track and round the corner as it delays the entry. We also observed a slight bouncing in the cornering phases. The lap construction with the yellow banded tires was aimed at maximizing the slow and medium speed corners, neglecting the faster ones slightly. From this factor, we can deduce that the car's setup is generally less stiff compared to direct competitors, as we had anticipated in our usual preview. With the softs, both Leclercs try to give their best. Arthur lags almost two seconds behind his brother, but as mentioned, in his case the lap times didn't matter much. With the red-banded Pirelli tires, the main Ferrari driver immediately tops the timesheets, although he encounters some traffic, which does not help. However, the excess rotation is minimized thanks to the extra grip provided by the tires. There are still some small issues at corner 5 where to reach the apex, there is a slight oversteer when the car's lateral load is at its maximum. In corner 9, the first after the long high-speed section, it is noticeable that McLaren manages the racing line better by smoothing the corner, while Charles covers more meters. There is also some oversteer in sector 3, but nothing excessive. It remains to be seen how the tires are used, as the warm-up process needs to be completed optimally to perform well in the third sector and avoid overheating. Despite the session being disrupted by the issue, Leclerc did well to remain calm and by shortening the work, still managed to gather useful data. He also managed to complete a mini race simulation, still using the softs, unlike the other drivers who did it with the mediums, given they had more time. Although the red car in the Abu Dhabi version appeared to be very good, unfortunately, the news arrives that stuns the fans. The battery pack on car number 16 has been changed. 
This means that Charles Leclerc will face a 10-position grid penalty for Sunday's race at the 5.281 km Yas Marina circuit on Yas Island. A very tough blow for the Marinello team, which sadly complicates the battle in the Constructors' Championship against rivals McLaren. The Ferrari SF24 single-seater therefore proves to be competitive in the preparations of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, but Charles Leclerc will be penalized by 10 positions on the starting grid for the final race of the season. The Ferrari mechanics intervene to install the third battery pack, which is why Leclerc will incur a penalty. The battle between McLaren and Ferrari for the Constructors' Championship could not have started worse for Ferrari, even though Charles placed the SF24 at the top of the timesheets with an excellent 1.24.321 set on the soft tires. This performance is very good, considering it is 1.7 seconds faster than last year's first free practice session at the Yas Marina circuit. Leclerc couldn't fully enjoy the session, which was split with his brother Arthur, who took over Carlos Sainz's red car. The two brothers shared a parade lap to mark the occasion. While Charles finished first, Arthur ended up 18th, 1.9 seconds behind his brother and teammate on the special occasion. The young third driver ran with a large rake for aerodynamic testing and followed a different work program. Behind Ferrari, Lando Norris with McLaren was 221 thousandths of a second slower. The Woking team ran two very different rear-wing configurations. The English driver used the lower downforce version, while Ryo Hirakawa, a Toyota driver in the FIA World Endurance Championship, was given the one offering more downforce. Like Leclerc Jr., the Japanese driver performed several constant-speed aerodynamic tests, finishing 14th. The two Mercedes cars were third with Lewis Hamilton and fourth with George Russell. The two W15S appeared very competitive with the medium tires, but they lost balance with the red tire, losing four-tenths, before finding a good pace in the mini-long run at the end of the session. Lewis is under investigation for impeding Norris and will be heard later. A penalty may be issued. It is also worth pointing out that Ferrari begins the crucial weekend for the Constructors' Championship by foregoing the latest technical updates. The new floor, which had been tested in Las Vegas and used in the race in Qatar, will instead be limited to a simple test program in Abu Dhabi. The update is aimed at addressing a chronic issue from 2024 on the next Ferrari, but the Yas Marina circuit restricts its benefits. The news of a floor designed primarily to improve long-duration corners contextualizes Charles Leclerc's Thursday remarks, where he described the latest update as a different approach, very good in some areas and worse in others. With this, Ferrari signals its intent for 2025 to complete the revolution started with the SF24. For the first time in 2024, the red team transitioned from having a car focused on qualifying to one with better race consistency, though still carrying the instability and cornering from previous seasons. However, this weakness is one the team is determined to address with the next car.